What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So today's video I'm going to show you shoes that I found at thrift stores and resold for profit on eBay. Now, I don't really find many sneakers, so a lot of these are what I call specialty shoes. I often find cowboy boots, cycling shoes, winter type boots, and so forth. And they bring good money. So keep watching and I'm going to show you what's sold. Alright, let's start with a pair of sandals. The brand is Teva. Very good brand. Um, these are just the strappy sport outdoor sandals. Size 9.5. I found these at the Google bins, paid about $2 by weight, took two weeks to sell, and I took an offer on Poshmark for $20, giving me a net of about $14. All right, here's a pair. The brand is called SAS San Antonio Shoe. This is called the Free Time Tripad Comfort Shoes. It was in like a, almost like a blood red type of color. Not my taste at all. Found these at the Google bins. They were in excellent condition. And SAS is a good selling brand. So I grabbed them. Paid about $2 by weight. Took four months to sell. Sold for $32.75 plus $8.50 shipping. And I netted about $26. Next up is a great pair. Hard to find. I had never seen them before I found them. But I found three pairs on that day. And I paid $5 per pair. The brand is called Kai Bun, and these were the Kai Boot Serang Orthopedic Comfort Shoes. Very expensive, brand new, upwards of like $400 range. I found three pairs. I paid $5 a pair. This one was a size 8, which is going to be a tough size to sell. Took about 8 months to sell. Sold for $124.75 plus 8 shipping, and I netted $102. The next pair is the same exact ones, same color and everything, but they were in a size seven and a half, which is again, gonna be a tough size to sell. They sold about a week and a half after the other pair, which is weird because I had them for eight months, but then within a week or two, they both sold. 124.75 plus eight shipping, and again, netted 102. Now, eBay has a thing where you sell shoes over $100, you don't pay a fee. And I know it pertains to sneakers, I don't know if it carries over into something like this. I did not look at my um, invoice to see if there was a fee in or not. If there wasn't, then I netted about 120. But we're just going to say 102. Next up is a pair of Merrells. Great brand. These are called the, the Castle Rock Jungle Mocks. They're a slip on like a suede leather. Men's size 12. Pick these up at the Google bins for $3. Took two months to sell. Sold for $39.75 plus 10 shipping and it netted roughly $30. Okay, here's branded cowboy boots. The brand is Ariat. Nice heritage women's leather in a brown. Found these at the Goodwill bins. Paid about $4 by weight. Took one month to sell. Sold for $38.75 plus 12 shipping and it netted $28. Okay, here's a pair of golf shoes. That's another thing that no one at the bins ever picks up. So whenever they're there, if I go, I find them. This was FootJoy Icons in a size 13. I had these for a long time, and I just never did anything with them because I had to replace all the cleats on the bottom. Finally ordered cleats and the tool to remove them, and it was a chore because they were breaking off because they were kind of like just so old. I paid $5 for these at a local thrift store. Took four months to sell. Sold for $68.75 plus $12 shipping and I netted roughly $55. All right, here's a pair of cycling shoes. Cycling shoes always sell. They don't last too long. They sell for good money. There's a lot of good brands out there. So when you see a pair of cycling shoes, check them and comp them out. There's road cycling shoes and there's mountain biking shoes. This was a pair of Louis Garneau, which is a great brand. Found these at the Goodwill bins. Paid about $3 by weight, took two months to sell, sold for $42.75 plus 10 shipping, and then roughly $33. Here's another pair of cycling shoes. The brand is City, S-I-D-I, another great brand. These were the Dominators, and these were a higher-end selling ones. Some are going to be lower in price, some are high. They have a wide range when it comes to some brands. These, again, at the Google bins. About $3 by weight, sold in one day. $82.75 plus 9 shipping, 
and I netted about $67. So you can see the price difference. The first pair sold for $42, these sold for $82, both used but in good condition. So there's definitely money to be made if you can buy them for the right price. Alright, so out of these eight pairs, my total buy cost, $32. There's always going to be a higher buy cost when it comes to shoes compared to clothes. After paying fees and recouping my buy cost, I netted approximately $457 on these eight pairs. That puts an average net profit of $50 per sale. So, as you can see, what I call these specialty shoes can bring you in some good money. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.